Knocked him down! All the meat in this video was expired because no woman likes expired meat. You're eating bad meat, boy. Welcome back to Point Blank, I'm Heather, and today's video is how powerful is an AR-15? But before we start into that, I just wanna show you a little bit more about my Angry Stag magazine loader for my AR-15. Talked about it a little bit in my last video, but I wanna spend a little bit more time with it today. So really, pretty simple. Dump your rounds into the popper. Dump two boxes into it. But keep out the plastic part. Close it up and now I'm gonna set it to fill my mag. Just hit the plus sign to however many rounds you want to put in there. If you only wanna put 10, you could do 10, you could put five, one. Then find your magazine underneath all your trash and just throw it in there. And then just hit start. And here we go. It's counting the rounds. 20. It says magazine is loaded. Push the little button, pop it out, and you have a fully loaded magazine. They can count how many seconds that took, but that is faster than loading it yourself, huh? Well, I don't know about that. So, down range, we have my pork shoulder. One round into the pork shoulder. We're clear. Let's go check it out. How come you guys don't remind me to bring gloves out for this? Look at the hole. God, you're gonna make me touch it. Look at that little tiny entrance hole. Look at the back. Wow. Okay, well let's get the next thing set up. Okay, before we get on to the next thing, I did remember to bring some towels and soapy cloth cloths to wipe my hands off. I did remember that, but I should have brought gloves. But up next, we have chickens. You can only see one. I have two of them back there. One's holding the other one up because they're kind of little and slimy. Okay, here we go, little chickens. be fun to have out here at the range with us when we're doing the food things. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg. What do you think? What do you think would go wrong with that? Oh God. Can you hear the flies? Tore, tore them up. Oh. There you go. That little fast little round, huh? On to the next thing, and the flies are already feasting. No wieners today. I have a 10 pound block of clay down there. I'm kind of excited to see how this goes because I was really amazed on the hole that the 22 made with the little block of clay that we did in one of the previous videos. All right, 10 pound block of clay. Whoa. I can't wait to see what that looks like on slow-mo. Just let it right in half. All right, let's go look at it. <clears throat> the golf cart back and forth. It looks like a hat, like I just pick it up and put it on my head. Or a bowl. A new type of pottery class. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's clay everywhere. Oh my goodness. That is so freaking cool. I think clay is my new favorite thing to shoot. What's next? Let's go get it. All right. Watermelon is up. Okay, the beautiful, juicy, red watermelon. And there's no point in going down there and looking at it, it's everywhere. So it's watermelon juice for every Watermelon everywhere, look at that. Oh my God. Watermelon juice seeping everywhere. It is definitely moist out here now. I'm gonna make my own ASMR video just for the sound of stuff hitting the ground. 
because it's a lovely 100 degrees here in Texas, I'm gonna shoot all three things all at one time. I have beans, flour, and yummy cheap chopped ham. Chopped ham. And last but not least, the can of pinto beans. Before we go down there, two more into the flour. Oh, it just went right through there. That's so cool. All right, now we're clear. Okay, here we are with our bag of flour. Down here is our can of pinto beans. Let's take a look at it. Split it, tore the label right off. Here's the front and back. Pop the top. What are what are some things that you'd like to see me shoot? Leave your comment in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.